Hi guys, welcome back from my YouTube channel Life with Dearly. For today's video guys, we are going to cook chicken adobo. This is like a Filipino delicacies. And if you if you search this in YouTube guys, you will see so many types and different type of cooking how we cook our chicken adobo. But they're all almost similar. Yeah, almost similar, but there are so many, many ways to cook the chicken adobo. So for today, chicken adobo, I'm going to show you what my version of my chicken adobo, okay? So first, we're going to need the chicken. So this is like a three pieces of three quarts, quart size chicken. I just chop it up so that to make it small because I like small pieces of my chicken. But you can chop your quart chicken of any size that you wanted. So we're gonna need garlic. This is a three pieces garlic cloves and one whole small onion. And this is three small pieces of uh, potatoes. This potatoes is, by the way, is from my garden. Yeah, this is from my garden. So we're gonna need the calamansi juice. We're gonna need this. Don't worry guys, if you don't have this, um, it's okay to use vinegar. Yeah, don't worry if you don't have this. I bought this in Amazon. Yeah, if you don't have this, no worries because you can use vinegar. And we're gonna need black pepper with the grind. And we're gonna need soy sauce. And we're gonna need coconut oil. I'm using coconut oil because it's the healthy version. Yeah, they said you can use vegetable oil. You can use any oils that you wanted. This is all we need for our chicken adobo. This is such a simple recipe and, and it's delicious too. So let's start cooking. So now we have our cooking pan here. It's already hot, so let's put our coconut oil. You can put about one tablespoon, not too much, because we are going to saute our garlic and onion. Okay, our oil is hot, so let's put our garlic. Guys, don't saute your garlic like, like, don't burn it because it's very bitter. Yeah, it will turn out bitter if you burn your garlic. So just saute it real quick and then follow the onion. They were just gonna saute it uh, maybe about 30 seconds. Yeah. Okay, our onion and garlic is done saute, so let's put our chicken meat. We just mix it up. Guys, by the way, my fire is medium high. Okay. And let's cover this for five minutes. Okay, guys, it's been five minutes. So let's check it out. Look at that. So many juices. <laughs> Mm, it smells so good from the garlic and onion. Mm. So now it's time to season our chicken. First, we're going to have black pepper. You can put as much as you want. Me, I love black pepper. So I'm going to put a lot. Maybe uh, you can put at least half a teaspoon. Or one teaspoon, yeah, half to one teaspoon. Yeah. And then after that, let's put our soy sauce. Guys, the way you put your soy sauce, because guys, when I cook, I don't measure. So, but I'm gonna give you my technique. Guys, the way you cook your, your oh, the way you put your soy sauce, put it little by little. Yeah, so the, and then after you put, you you taste the broth, if it's the amount of saltiness that you wanted. If it's, or if it's, if it need more salt, you can put a little more. So at least you can adjust the taste that you wanted. That's why, that's a secret. Do it little by little. So after that, let's put our calamansi juice. By the way, guys, you don't have to have this. You can have vinegar. So, after you put your vinegar or this one, don't cover right away. 
Yeah, the, let let the let the because this is sour. Let the thingy to to smoke first to absorb. Don't cover right away. So I put like one lid of those, or maybe I'm gonna add another one. Yeah, two lid. Yeah, you can put like even a uh, lemon. You can put lemon too, like one whole lemon or a uh, one small lemon. Yeah, you can put that too. And then don't touch it. Just let it simmer there for about one minute. Mmm, I smell it. I smell it. Just let it simmer there for about one minute. Okay, it's been one minute. So let's mix it up. See, this recipe, guys, it's so easy. Let's mix it up real good. Let's cover this for another. Uh, oh no, let's cover this until the chicken cook. So, but this time we're gonna lower the the fire just a little bit so that we can we can have more broth. So that's the secret. Lower the fi the fire a little bit so that we can have more broth. See, just like that. So let's cook this until our chicken cook. Okay, guys, let's check our chicken. Mm, look at that so much broth let's mix it up mm, my goodness i'm so hungry and this one it looks so um yummy see so guys before we proceed let's try our broth if if we got the taste that we wanted Mmm, my goodness, it's already good. Yeah, the saltiness and from and with the with this calamansi juice, it's so perfect. Yeah, I don't need to put more salt or oh no, I don't need to put more soy sauce. So now it's time to put our potatoes. See, our chicken is already cooked. See that? it looks and you know what guys you can add more peppers here bell peppers you can do that in carrots you can do that it's just i don't have carrots and bell pepper that's why i only adding uh, potatoes so let's cover it up again and this time guys we're just gonna wait until our potatoes is cooked and then we're done that's how easy it is to make to cook this chicken adobo let's check our chicken Oh, so good. Let's check our potatoes. Oh, it's not done yet. <laughs> Maybe f um, five more minutes. Yeah. And cover again. Wow, our chicken adobo is done. Look at that. It's so easy and quick. So, test test time. Let's try this. I have already prepared rice here. See that? And I want more broth. Mmm, look at that. Potatoes. That looks so good. So, let's try. So, look at the chicken. Mmm, look at that some rice so let's try oh my gosh mm. it's so good mm. it's so good guys mm. okay guys that's it for today i hope you enjoyed this video guys you should have uh, give it this a try and if you like it, please let me know in the comment section below. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next time for more. Bye-bye.